Hi, it's Miss Pritzel in the Appleton West Library, and I'm book talking a mystery uh, thriller uh, with a side dish of horror because the serial murders are kind of gory. So it's the series in the first book are called I Hunt Killers, and the author is Barry Lyga. Uh, the first book can be read as a standalone, but there is a cliffhanger at the end. The case is resolved, but there's a cliffhanger that's going to probably make you, if you liked it, this book, you're going to want to read book two and three. So main... I'm going to have to do this fast. Uh, the main character is Jasper Dent, and Jasper Dent is a 17-year-old son of what's called a super serial killer. His dad is Billy Dent, and Billy Dent has killed well over 100 people. And Billy Dent is now in prison. But Jasper has been raised by this person who did not hide what he did from Jasper. He was raising Jasper to be his protege, to be even bigger and better than Billy was. So Jasper has some issues. Uh, Jasper does have some a girlfriend and a good friend, uh, so that really helps. And Jasper is trying really hard to make sure that um, all the knowledge he has gained from Billy, that he is going to use it for good. So this book starts out where Jasper is observing a crime scene uh, in his small town. He lives, they don't really say where this town is. Uh, so he is observing the crime scene. He uncover some clues that the police do not. He has a good relationship with the police chief. He convinces the police chief that this is a serial killer or tries to convince him. Police chief doesn't believe him. Jasper finds clues and Jasper is able to figure out, yes, this is a serial killer. The serial killer goes by the name The Impressionist. And Jasper and his friends are able to help Jasper solve the mystery and catch the killer but it ends on a cliffhanger that leads to books two and three. So you can stop with this book if you're okay, like, hey, I'm okay with that cliffhanger. Um, so the second book is Game, and the third book is Blood of My Blood. Now, if you read Game, it's not totally complete, like it ends on another cliffhanger. Thankfully, all three books are out. You can read them one, two, three, because uh, I would have been really mad <laughs> if I had to wait a year. So uh, game, Jasper is drawn into New York uh, City case by an NYP detect uh, NYPD detective um, to help solve the serial killings that are happening in New York City. And Jasper, once again, is able to see things and figure out things that the police do not because Jasper thinks like a serial killer. So uh, Connie is also drawn into this. Um, she's drawn into this by some anonymous texts that make her believe Jasper's in danger and she can help him. Um, yeah. So at the end of this, they do figure out who the New York serial killers are. But once again, it ends up on a cliffhanger where Jasper is shot and he is now a suspect in the death of an FBI agent. So then we get Blood of My Blood. Uh, so this kind of resolves the cliffhanger from book two and the cliffhanger from book one. Uh, and Jasper is on the run. First he's got to get out of, he's injured, but first he's got to get out of New York City. He does. Uh, then he's kind of going cross country. Uh, but then he's also got to figure out you know, other things. And Connie, Connie has survived, but is really injured. Um, so once again, he and his girlfriend and his best friend, Howie, are figuring things out as they go along. So I highly recommend this. Now, I read another book by Barry Lega this summer, uh, but this series has been on my list to read, but sometimes it's hard to commit to a series. So summer is always a good time for me to do that. But it was students who convinced me that I had to definitely read this this summer, and I'm very glad that I did. So I've had students check out the first one, and they're like, oh. Then I, I see them later, and they're coming to get book two and then book three. So this is a not just Miss Pritzel recommended. This is a student-recommended series. So I think if you like mysteries, this is a really good one. It actually reminded me of a lot of, I pref, mystery fiction is my preferred adult reading, if I'm reading for the fun of it. <laughs> it's my preferred adult reading, and this reminded me of that because of the serial killer angle and some of the gore. So I will have to say that they're, this, so they describe some of the things the serial killers do in some detail. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you like, I said, if you like your mysteries and you can handle some gore with it, um, I think you will really enjoy this. There might actually be some horror people who would actually enjoy this because some of the crimes are pretty horrific. So 
If this is not your cup of tea, I will help you find something else. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and keep on reading. Bye.